This is Mateo Von Bewitcher from Bewitcher. And Andy from Bewitcher. And we are here in Chicago with Bus Invaders. As you can see, this is our lovely tour vehicle. We call it the Valentine. It was named for uh, named that for a long, a long time ago from a by friend of ours who decided that it looked like a big heart driving down the road. And that is why we call it that. Shall we go inside? Welcome, Welcome. to the front seat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the front seat of the Valentine. What do we got here? We got coffee. Empty coffee cup. Life's blood. As you can see, <laughs> it's layered for efficiency. Now, let's start at the bottom. What we have here, we have a tape deck, but we have a tape adapter because we uh, only have so many tapes. This one's about to die. This one's about to die. <laughs> Speaking of the listening selections when we are uh, on the road, it really varies from time to, from uh, person to person for who's driving, but uh, basically what we ended up with is a mix of, of course, classic metal. We have a lot of 80s pop happening. We have Lady Gaga. A lot of Lady Gaga for some reason. We have a lot of old school country and uh, pretty much anything else you can think of that gets thrown into the mix. It's uh, a pretty wide array. So this is our collection of cassette tapes purchased at various record stores and truck stops, cigarettes, and gum. Because, you know, we like to smoke, but we also like to stay fresh. Spare change, both Canadian and American. We got loonies and toonies now. Loonies and toonies. I don't know, uh, do we have any toonies? Anyways. Yeah, it's mostly loonies. Yeah, loonies. Lots of loonies. And, uh, we'll go to the top of the console. <laughs> this is where it gets a little bit nasty. Got an empty coffee cup, of course. Got our cigarette butt receptacle. And maybe you'd like to talk about this. <laughs> this is the peacup. <laughs> <laughs> when you're uh, when you're driving uh, long, you know, long drives, and uh, there's no time to stop, and then the driver's like, "Fuck you, we're just gonna keep rolling." Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So, this is the peacup. We have a uh, lovely rear view mirror ornaments picked up on various uh, adventures that we've had. This one is from Louisiana. They sell these in the, in the uh, gas stations there. They also have alligator heads. Our lovely uh, cross we picked up, I think, in Central California. And so, so, uh, of course, we put it upside down. Because, uh, same. And same. This was uh, given to us by a young, lovely lady some time ago. Um, and we have other souvenirs that maybe we should show. <laughs> on the dash, one of your lovely local establishments, Lou, Malna Lou Malnati's. We think it's a front for the Illuminati, but it's Lou Malnati's. <laughs> but uh, signature Chicago-style deep dish. Very tasty. Very tasty. So uh, when making the drive, usually we try to do it into like two or three hour shifts. Um, in all honesty, it's usually uh, who's, uh, who's up for it and the rest of the guys just pass out. <laughs> and we just try to make it as far as down the road as we can. And then usually we pull off on the side of the road somewhere and crash out for a couple hours and then keep going. Because most of our drives are four to 12 hours. So We don't have uh, any days off on this tour either. <laughs> so uh, we made the mistake of not being able to uh, stay in a city. We have to just go the next, yep, yep. that night. So yep. a lot of- uh, Get offered a lot of great places to stay, but it's always uh, jump in the van and, and make it a couple hours down the road and then pass out at a truck stop. Speaking of passing out, shall we retire to the backside? Welcome to the middle. Alright, I'm gonna jump down. Alright, this is where it gets a little more down and dirty. Andy, go ahead with the grand ah. tour. So as you can see we got deluxe accommodations. Um, we got this is actually where our drummer hi. This is actually where our drummer spends about 18 to 20 hours a day sleeping. Right here. Um, <laughs> while we drive. <laughs> Go ahead yeah. with the tour. This is the dressing room. Um, Got to keep everything nice and fresh and dry, you know, for the performance that night. Uh, let's see, we got pillows. What else we got hidden back here? No pornography for some reason. That's weird. That is uh, a first for this. That is a first. Tour. Let's see. Uh, these are imperative for any traveling band when you're sleeping on the side of the road. The old uh, windshield blind. This comes in handy. Reflective sunshine. It's like worth a million dollars, really. We got our, uh, let's see, luggage of course, Satanic Temple uh, tickets. Brochures. Definitely recommend checking that place out. Uh, food of course, let's see, our refrigerator's down here. It's 
pretty gross. <laughs> it's barren right now. Fan. Gotta have a fan. For those uh, long nights in Texas. Uh, let's see, we got... Show, show clothes. Show boots. Boots. Merch Jumping table water. over there that we've never used. <laughs> Merch table. We don't normally show people this, but since uh, since we're all friends, we got our uh, secret stash stuff up here. We got uh, some beers. Random clothing items and other such things. Uh, we come in here and it's packed to the gills with random uh, random stuff that we just kind of acquire on the road. Snacks, board games, cookies, cookies hats clothes that we store up here, ice scrapers that we haven't had to use yet, jumper cables, the whole nine. <laughs> we get it on. And then, uh, yeah, ass wipes, toilet paper, because you never know. Emergencies, they happen, you know. Welcome to the trunk. As you can see, it's pretty empty right now, but when we have it packed, it's like a gigantic game of Tetris. We've, and we've got it dialed pretty well, but it's pretty much front to back gear. Um, obviously right now it's various uh, blankets and, and uh, accoutrements. The benefit to having a van this tall, you can't stack a lot of stuff out, but you can stack high. So uh, what we end up doing is utilizing the height advantage and, uh, and throwing all the bedding and stuff on top. And that works out pretty well for us. It's got more secret stash stuff over here, drumsticks, this uh, nail maintenance kit that I've been looking for for days now. My fingers are very dirty from putting uh, grease paint on my face. Spare light bulbs, toothpicks, envelopes. I don't know why we have those. Glue. We like to huff this if we can, you know. It doesn't really work that well because it's school glue, but, you know, you can eat it too. It's not toxic. Uh, and you also have uh, juice. And uh, yeah, that's that's what we got. Well, here we are at the end of the tour. Not the tour, but the van tour. Speed Till North America Bleeds Tour goes until November 2nd. We are promoting our debut album, which came out last year on Diabolic Might Records. Also Dive Bomb and Graven Earth Records. Thank you. Hail Satan. This is our drummer rant. Crush the rush, he says. <laughs>